Okay guys, so it's Friday and that means we are back with another video for you this week where we discuss a topic that will benefit your training within the calisthenics and fitness world. So today we are looking at the handstand and how you can get more progress of your handstand if you just follow a few simple concepts. So we all know past a certain level, the handstand becomes a little bit like your bipolar girlfriend. You never know whether it's with you or it's fucking against you. And a lot of the time it can kind of come and go and it's very up and down and inconsistent because it's balance based and it's neurological. So that means that you're always going to get these up and down waves. And sometimes, as I'm sure you've experienced, when you train this move, it just does not want to play ball and you end up doing these sessions where you're spending two hours to get maybe, I don't know, 10, 10 plus sets of decent holds, which is an awful hit rate. So one of the things I like to do, which is going to sound so simple that you guys are going to literally be like, what the fuck, why didn't you just say that and end the video, is use the wall. No shit, Sherlock. Obviously the wall is an easy way of scaling back a little bit and getting more volume in, but you'll be amazed how many people don't do this, particularly at a slightly higher level. So where I've got consistent balance now, one of the things I was very reluctant to do was do any wall facing work. And let me tell you guys, it was the biggest mistake I ever made in my handstand journey was not doing enough wall facing work. If I could go back and learn it all over again, I'd be straight up on that wall, wall facing drills, getting the alignment, getting the shape the right way and just learning it from scratch. So I wouldn't banana, over kick and go for all the injuries I did as a result of not doing it the right way. The other benefit about doing it wall facing, and now it's important that we do wall facing, so you get the alignment rather than back to wall we kick up, just because these shapes when you're wall facing, it tends to one, put you in alignment like I say, and two, it makes the shape a little bit heavier, which builds more strength through the traps and the relevant handstand muscles. And also, you'll also find you can use a level that's just a bit higher than the level you use whilst free balancing. So an example of this is, let's say that you're at the standard where you can have one hand flat, like a flat palm, and then the other hand on fingertips. You could, in theory, go down to one finger while wall facing, or even taking the hand off the wall altogether and building up the volume that way. So it's really, really good for just using a level higher than what you can already hold. Plus, it enables you to do really nice short sessions. No one wants to be in the gym for fucking two or three hours, which is why handstands are a very, very time consuming endeavor. And you get these hand balances banging on about how many uh, hours a day they train, but they probably train so much because there's just so much variety or variation in the consistency of the hit rate. Obviously, the more advanced you get, the easier it becomes. But whether you're a beginner or you're flipping Mikhail Christiansen or, or you, you Val on hands, they're still going to have good and bad balance days. And the point I'm making is, is that on a bad balance day, when your hit rate isn't very good, just move on to the wall. You have a shorter session, you build up a lot more quality volume in the position, and you'll make such faster progress. Honestly, it's the only way to go for me. That is the simple, simple thing. So pay attention to your hit rate. I'm not going to throw out a generic hit rate percentage here, but a good idea is to cap yourself at sort of a certain number of attempts. And if it's taking you so many more, let's say you're struggling a little bit and you say, right, I'm going to have five more goes at this. And if I don't get it by the fifth go, I'm moving on to wall work. That will really condense your session into a much more sensible training session which won't take so much of your time so you can have a life outside of the gym basically so to summarize what we're going over honestly guys wall facing work whether that's shapes tuck slides tuck holds uh you know unilateral drills shifting the weight around flagging eccentrics on the wall wall facing drills absolutely crucial for hand balance don't think it's all about just freestanding do not force the issue you will build so much more strength and if you vary this between one wall facing dominant session so like a technically less neurological but more muscular session and then more balance based session each week two sessions across the course of four to six weeks you are absolutely laughing in terms of progress i can say this from empirical evidence from the evidence of others and from the people i've coached through this process numerous times so yeah hope that helps guys take that away go and ponder it over the weekend if you like the video just drop me a like down below feel free to subscribe i'm going to start really trying to push to do these videos more and more regular and i appreciate every little bit of support uh, follow me on instagram at straight underscore talking underscore fitness i'm very active on there i'll respond to dms things like that i'm just in the community i quite enjoy that so follow along if you're like-minded and the website will be down below as well straight talking fitness.com have a great weekend guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all again in our next discussion video peace